Perfect Chicken Alfredo Oh Chicken Alfredo, how we like this traditional pasta dish, resembling pseudo-Italian cuisine. Although there are a ton of bottled pasta sauces available for purchase, creating Alfredo sauce from home is surprisingly simple. This recipe serves as a fantastic foundation for all one-pot pasta dishes. When you feel like switching things up, take into account the following modifications and some advice to assist you to avoid typical blunders. It's never a bad idea to swap out the milk for heavy cream or half and half if you want a thicker, richer sauce. Do you like dark meat a lot? Thighs for breasts, please. Just be sure to give them enough time to fry thighs take a lot longer to cook in the pan and cook best when quickly placed in the oven. This method is used to make our garlic butter baked chicken thighs, and they are amazing. For a whole different protein, try this recipe for shrimp fettuccine alfredo. Try something new with the noodles, fettuccine is a traditional choice, but angel hair or spaghetti would also be delicious. Just make sure that the pasta you select can be immersed entirely in the liquid used for cooking. Consider getting some vegetables? When the pasta is finished cooking, add a few generous handfuls of spinach and some grape tomatoes that have been cut in half. Toast some panko bread crumbs in a skillet with butter to add some crunch if you're lacking it. Any pasta can be used for this approach, the extra texture makes it taste even better. Want to get warm? Add some Cajun flavor or red pepper flakes. Avoid sauces with grit. Your sauce will become a lovely, creamy dream if you use freshly grated parmesan, not shredded. Anticoagulants are typically sprinkled on pre-shredded cheeses to stop the cheese from becoming smooth and melty. Of course, no pasta dinner would be complete without a side of crisp green salad dressed with red wine vinaigrette. If you have any leftovers, you may freeze them for up to three months or keep them in the fridge for up to five days. Built this? Please share your experience in the comments area below. Ingredients Extra virgin olive oil, 2 tablespoons 2 chicken breasts, boneless and skinless Halal salt Black pepper, freshly ground 1.5 cups of whole milk Low sodium chicken broth, 1 and a half cups 2 minced garlic cloves Fettuccine, 8 ounces Heavy cream, half a cup. Freshly grated parmesan, one cup. Parsley, freshly cut, as a garnish. Directions. Heat oil in a big skillet over medium-high heat. Add the chicken and salt and pepper to taste. Cook for 8 minutes on each side, or until golden and well done. After 10 minutes of relaxation, slice. To the pan, add the milk broth, and garlic. Add salt and pepper, then cook the dish. Add the fettuccine and cook for about 3 minutes, stirring constantly. Allow simmering for 8 more minutes or until al dente. Heavy cream and parmesan should be mixed by stirring. Until the sauce thickens, simmer. Remove from heat, then add the chicken slices. Add parsley as a garnish.